Okay, so what I have got going on here is I've got this lawn tractor that I love so much. It is just great. It's wonderful. But it gets the job done. So, but it's got this tire here. And this tire keeps going flat. It has an inner tube on the inside, which I've cut a chunk out of. Because I'm going to attempt to do something. And that is, use a can of sealer foam to see if I can make a solid foam tire and make it work. Now, what I've already done <laughs> is taken my valve stem out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the foam in through... the valve itself and I'm gonna fill this thing up and the reason why I took that out is because that that tube even if it's bad it's gonna create some kind of back pressure on it and I don't want to push all the foam out immediately so we're gonna we're gonna test this out I mean if it was already bad anyway and the tires already bad anyway the worst thing I can be out is a four dollar can of foam five dollar can of foam and uh, that's that. So what I'm going to do though is I'm going to rotate this if I can even get it to move here because I the way I've got it positioned. Okay. Now I'm going to rotate this around and get this up to the top. So that way when Make sure it's not hot. I just got done running it. When I'm doing this, normally when you put fix a flat in, you want that down. Why they want it like that, I have no idea. But what we're going to do, we're going to fill this from the top. So that way the foam goes down. But actually, no, you want to know what? We're going to fill it from the bottom. And we're going to kind of work it around. We're going to go ahead and fill this up now. See if this works. I have a pretty good idea that this is going to work. And again, I could be completely wrong. We'll probably start seeing foam coming out around the edges of the tire at some point very quickly. But I will tell you this much: once this is in there, it's in there. It's a permanent deal. Oh shoot! Don't get it on me. No. And this stuff does get really, really hard, so it's going to fill this thing up, and it's going to get stiff, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, the stem is actually not wanting to stay up, so... This could take a minute, so bear with me. I really don't know. <laughs> I really don't know what's going to happen here. I have a pretty good idea what's going to happen, but I kind of expected it to already sort of be pushing out by now, and it's not pushing out yet. But I do know this much: this foam, when it expands, it's going to look for somewhere to go. And this whole can, if I empty this whole can in here, I will tell you right now that this tire will be absolutely stiff because this whole can it could probably fill up a normal car tire so again why I'm not seeing anything yet I'm not seeing any kind of pushing back it's kind of kind of weird it's not coming out the back so this stuff is definitely going inside of here and staying in here you can hear something happening just don't know what yet But when we get all this foam in here, we're going to have to let it sit for a little bit and kind of, uh, kind of let it stiffen up and see what happens. So, I'll try and rotate this around now and see if maybe it'll start sinking down, sinking down to the bottom. That's what I wanted to do in the first place, but... It might have worked better this way. So, 
again, I know this is kind of slow process here and everything, but I think this is most definitely going to work. And I'm kind of excited about this because this stuff is really tough. This foam is extremely, extremely tough. And it will, it will last a while, especially if it's inside of a rubber shield. It's not gonna, it's not gonna break down. Even if it does, it's gonna take a long time before it turns into dust and falls out. Anyone that's worked with this stuff knows. It is kind of expanding a little bit, but what I'm gonna do once I've got all this foam in here, shoot, I might have been able to leave that. That uh. That tube intact, who knows, maybe one that came out as bad as I thought. But what I'm going to do once I get all this foam in here, it's still pushing pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that valve stem back in as quickly and as best as I can. I don't know how I'm going to get in there with that foam already in there. Because I don't have a valve stem tool, tool where, um, at least not where I know where it is. I got one laying around somewhere, but... I'm just going to shove that thing back in there and kind of spin it down as fast as I can and let it kind of plug up and go from there. Man, kind of glad that I had this can laying around here, but yeah, she's pretty well empty now. Actually, you want to know what I can do? I got my cat. Where did it go? It fell on the ground. It fell on the ground over here. Now I got to find it. Shoot. Dang it. Oh, either way. I'm going to let this fill up and kind of solidify and everything and going to gonna see what happens and go from there. I'll find this cap once I shut this off and everything and I'll, I'll turn this back on here in just a second and kind of let you guys see what happened and we'll test it out. I can see foam starting to come out here. The tire is a lot stiffer already so this this looks like it's going to be a good a good thing i just gotta get that plugged off real quick so and i wish i would have picked that cap up before i just kind of let it let it fall on the ground and, and pick it back up that's really going to help me let me see if i've got one laying around here I got, no, I got one out here. Here we go. So I got one right here. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stick this on here before all this foam comes back out and just use that to cap that off. And dang it, I hate getting this stuff on my skin. It sucks. It is so messy. And it's sticky forever. Either way, I'll tell you right now that there is definitely foam coming out right here. This obviously just dripped off right there. But there's foam coming out right there. This tire is already gaining back a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, mass to it. I'm very excited to see what happens here. I do believe this is going to work out really good. I just hope that it uh, it balances good. So I'm going to rotate that back around right there and just kind of let it sit for a minute. And I'm going to go ahead and shut this off and I'll come back to you guys. You can see right now that it's got some kind of sponge to it. There's definitely some kind of sponge there all the way around. But again, when this stuff hardens up, it's just going to be, I mean, a giant mass. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this down real quick and we'll get back to it in a bit.